This is a demo of the new Sky Go app for Android. It's only compatible with certain handsets, so today I'm going to be using the HTC Desire S to show you how it works. So if I fire up the app, usually at this screen it would ask you for your Sky ID details, but I've already entered mine so it saved them. Um, so here it brings up the menu. You can either select the category to view the channels or you can select them all in one list. So we'll just go through to all channels. Now this is a list of all the channels that are currently available with the app. So these aren't all the channels that I have on my subscription. But I'll just go through some of the ones that I do have available. So Sky One comes with most packages. For launch the channel, automatically switches to uh, landscape mode. It loads pretty quickly. Ah, nope, not available on Skygo. So let's try a different one. Sky Living. So that one loads nice and quickly. Not bad picture quality. Um, sounds not too bad either. Just go back and have a look through the rest of the list. Um, Sky Atlantic. So yeah, it takes takes a few seconds to load, but once once it has loaded, it's a pretty good connection. Um, I've been testing it for about an hour this morning and haven't experienced any buffering, and that's just on a shared Wi-Fi connection, so pretty good speeds really. If I do select a channel that I don't have on my subscription, it just gives me the option to upgrade now. I'm not going to do that here. There's also a little drop down menu if I just click the arrow. Um, you can look at listing to the whole channel. Or you can look at the program details, so the same as pressing the I button on your Sky Remote. And then yeah, back to the home screen and it's it's just a basic list at the moment. Um, you've got adverts here that you can slide through to see what's on the Sky. In particular, I can imagine it's it's probably pretty good for watching football on the go. So we're just going to one of the sports channels, just see what's on Sky Sports 1 at the moment. So yeah, not the greatest picture. Imagine this would probably pick up a bit over a slightly stronger Wi-Fi connection, but good enough for the purpose that it serves. Um, I'll just try it on a 3G connection to see what the picture quality is like. Right, unfortunately I only get GPRS here so it's probably not going to be good enough connection to watch a channel. Let's just see how long it takes to load. Right, yeah, that's, that's going to take too long so the picture quality won't be in, well, it's, gonna, it's probably going to buffer too much, so um, yeah, I need to test it on a 3G connection really.